Good morning. Morning. Oh, can I do the Gaelic? You can do the Gaelic. Matinva. Where are we? We're in. D oh, I was going to say Dundee. That's, that's right. clear. Aberdeen. <laughs> We're in. Um, it's got a D in it. What, what date? What date is it? It is Thursday, the twenty-first of June. What on earth are we doing? We are travelling on the longest train journey that you can take on the longest day of the year. Thirteen hours on a Voyager. Woohoo! <laughs> to the Penzance. To the Penzance. Yeah. We need to introduce the other good people that are travelling with us. Yes, there's Sarah uh, and David and Robert. Robert's quite senior. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's wearing a jacket, which makes me feel like he's senior. Jackets are just a, a, a sign of seniority. We'll get his job title for you in a second. Uh, two really important things to note, our cross-country train, for those that like to write down numbers, it's a 221, but not only is it a 221, it's 221122. We've got the palindromic 221, see? Same backwards as his forward. Secondly... You're, you're unnecessarily excited about that. I am, I don't know you why. You should be more excited. Who remembers Neil? You can get Scott round with Kate Neil, I love you. Can I have, you. Your, can I have your tie, please? <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't. You're going to join us. Yeah. What we've done, we basically, we've uh, enlisted some local people. This is a local people. That's a um, League of Gentlemen yes. bag. Do you this get that? Yeah. This is a local train. Local, local train. For lo <laughs> so we've got some, we basically hit up all our, all the station's friends and thought, who do we know at local towns across the country? And you're going to join us on board for a chat. Yeah, have a, have a blather as they say. Yeah. So you are our driver this morning, yes. Paul. And how far are you taking us? To Dundee. And that will take about uh, now and ten minutes. And what happens when when you get to Dundee? Do you have a break? Do you drive another off. train? Another driver takes over. Okay. Full disclosure: we are with the railway delivery group, and so we are in first class. We do have people have been saying, "Oh, you're going to slum it on a Voyager all day." Oh, and we're moving. We are actually leaving. On time. This is a good thing. Now, obviously, we're on trains all day. Vicky can't get out of the castle, so that's why we've invited people such as Neil uh, to come along. Um, so, coming up in a minute, out of our left-hand side, there's an amazing view. What is what is that view, Neil? Well, we have over there the North Sea. And this area would just pass through between Port Lethen and Stonehaven, it's called the Muckles, and there's all sorts of beautiful geography. Um, did, you, did you say Muckles? Muckles. I thought you said Muggles, like Harry, like Harry <laughs> Potter. Don't tell Vicky that, that Muggles are here. There, I wouldn't say a what, word. What, Muggles? She takes a bait every time. Muck, muckles. muckles. It's M-U-C-H-A-L-L-S, and that's that okay. area. All these areas will have little names as we go, as we go through the journey. I'll, Try my hardest to remember as many as we possibly can. But you said that there's a face in the rock is one of those. A face in the rock of the old man of Muckles. And uh, you, you see it, some passengers see it as, as a driver, you see it and you point it out. It's just the, the, f the formation of the rock uh, looks like a, a fella's face. Okay. <laughs> we moved this the first class magazine. I'm going to be a bit cheeky. I'm just going to, I'm going to put Owen. Oh, is it Owen? Oh, keep working. Keep, keep serving drinks. No, no, milk and sugar with the tea, sorry. Just, just milk. Just milk. Not a problem. Owen is one of many. Are you known as catering staff or your trolley dolly? That's a joke. What, what's your title? I'm a retail service manager. Retail service manager. Owen, I just have to ask, what time did you book on this morning? Uh, five past five. Five past five, which means you got up at what time? Half past two. I was out of my bed. Just, half two? Half past two. Good. What? That's, <laughs> just so you can come and serve us. That's it. Dedicated. Drinks. On a wobbly train <laughs> in first class. See you there. Owen. That's and, it. And where do you book off at? Where, where are you on until? Uh, I'm down in Newcastle with yourselves and then I'm back up to Edinburgh. So you're working the return, a return service from Newcastle? I'll, I'll, I'll be working one back to Edinburgh. Is that an eight yeah. hour shift or a ten hour shift? What's ten hours. Ten hour shift. Do you love your job? Oh yeah. Best job there is. See, I didn't ask you to say that. You just said that. Thanks, Owen. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll take Have the money back later. <laughs> <laughs> 
folks, this is the 859 Cross Country Train Service to Benzat. Next calling point will be Marlborough. Phil is giving Vicky, I, I like him having to point out who Phil and Vicky is, like you don't know. He's telling her about the, uh, the Voyager trains. I, I've got my rolling stock Voyager cheat sheet. There are 38 four car Voyagers, 34 are class 220. This is that's with cross country. Four are class 221. Yes. So hey, there are also Voyagers with West Virgin West Coast. Don't forget. There are Voyager trains on the West Coast. Well, and that's the interesting thing because you mentioned, and this is the thing I'm getting to because you mentioned West Coast, is that uh, the cross country franchise was in fact once run by Virgin, is that correct? It was. And down here, down here, down here, I'm going to slide down. I'm going to slide down. I'm going to slide down. Is, is that, this is a legacy from the onboard entertainment system, am I right? Yep. That Virgin used to have where you could plug in. Was it like music or radio or films? And there's like, look, like a little, think, there's a little it's control it's panel, and it's no longer used. It's 9:29. Where we've made it to Dundee Station. Vicky's doing a Facebook. I'm worried that some people have preserved the seats where I've been sitting. Uh, we've got six minutes stand time here. In case you weren't clear that we were in Scotland, there's a man with a kilt, which is excellent to see. No, it's Luke, Luke, Lucas. It's a hard C. It's a hard C. Lucas. 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 Hello, Lucas. Where are we, David? This is this is David. This is Lady Bank. The least used station on the journey. I was, you beat me to sorry, it. Sorry. So there sorry. were 45 stops yes. on on the one Victor 60 trip on this cross country service, and Lady Bank was only used, I think, by 82,218 people last year. So out of all the stops, it is the least, least yes, used. What's the second one? Is it Par in Cornwall? It is Par. We've got a long way to go before that one. We've yeah, got about so. 11 hours before we get to Par, yeah. So, did anybody get on? Was anybody... Uh, there were some people getting were, on, yes. Okay, but the, the, the least... The figures have gone up. The figures have gone up. <laughs> higher, higher, higher. <laughs> My next calling point will be Markinch. Just under 10 minutes. We've arrived at Kokordi, so David again, who's actually the senior media manager at the Railway Delivery Group, he's valiantly jumping out onto every platform. What if you didn't make it back onto the train? If we leave you behind, I don't think there's any way that you can catch yeah, I'll be up. Fine, I'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen, huh? Well, we could leave you behind. <laughs> this is what can happen. So what's happened? We're getting on the other Someone we, we know. Is it in the It's in the keeping. So I, I wanted to see if we could. Have you, have you got to get off again? Have some tunnels. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is that? Hey. <laughs> All the best. Is that a hug? Have I, you've been. What? You're not getting on? What? No, I can't go back to work. Dude. <laughs> you brought. I've got your sandwich. How's Breek doing? So How's Breek? Oh well, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Breek's still there. Yeah, it's still there. It's still good. <laughs> Bye! Take care, you guys. <laughs> uh, so last year um, at Breek Station, Adam, well, Adam gave us a lift to Breek. Um, we met his lovely wife and, and his daughter. There was a Facebook Live um, with them in. And he's just randomly brought us down. <laughs> he's just surprised us in the keeping. Do you want it? Now, do you want the camera wafer or do you want, do you want the, uh, the tea cake? The tea cake. Vicky's going for the tea cake. <laughs>
Edinburgh. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Edinburgh, Waverley. Uh, platform, it's a really nerdy fact, you're at platform 19. 19 is the highest numbered platform that this service stops at out of all the platforms today. I think at Birmingham we get a high number platform, but 19, remember Edinburgh, it's in a it's in a clock. Hang on, it's in a clock. They're numbered in a clock face style direction. That's it, 19. We've been to Edinburgh so many times now, usually for the festival. I sort of, I've almost run out of facts for Edinburgh. But, um, you got any facts for Edinburgh? About the station? About the station or the town? City? I like Edinburgh. Made it to Dunbar. Where's David? Dunbar, 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 Dunbar. David's there. This is the last of the Scottish stations. This is the 14th station in Scotland that we're stopping at. Next, we cross the border and we hit Berwick. So farewell, farewell Scotland, into England. Dunbar. Apparently this is a single, it's a single platform, it's bi-directional, it's quite unusual. This is like a major, a major station, a major route. It's quite unusual to have a single bi-directional track on a major station. Also, our first England station. <gasps> tick. Maybe we should come up with something new other than tick. I don't know. Um, How about ka-ching? Let's not do that. <laughs>